Maybe it was just me, but this seemed like the winner of Lars Newbar. I saw <laughs> Lars Newbar everywhere on this list and that list. Just what was the offseason like for you? Yeah, it was good. You know, obviously, uh, you know, got some good work in during the offseason. You know, uh, thought I cleaned some things up mechanically. Um, obviously, hit with Nolan a few times, too. You know, uh, anytime I can get around him, you know, it's always a treat. So, um, you know, kind of attacked it the same way I've always done it. You know, just got to get better um, every day, bit by bit. So. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, pretty good, pretty good offseason, I'd say. I saw the cool clip that was going around online of <laughs> Lars saying how uh, yeah. they represent Japan someday. Yeah. Just what's it going to mean to represent them in the World Baseball Classic? Yeah, it's a pretty special moment for me and, and, and my family especially. You know, my mom obviously, you know, being born and raised there. Um, for me to be able to bring her back, uh, play for Team Japan, uh, play in the Tokyo Dome where she's seen so many games growing up, uh, it's a pretty special moment. So. Uh, when I got that call, it was like a second debut for me and my family. You know, I think my mom was pretty, pretty pumped. She might have even been more excited about that than, than the debut itself. But uh, yeah, um, like I said, really, really proud, really thankful that they, they've allowed me to, to represent Team Japan. What was the process? Did you have to like make them aware, hey, this is something I really want to do and kind of lobby for it? Or how does that go? Because the uh, rest of the team is, is a lot of guys that are playing in Japan right now. Right, right, yeah. Um, you know, I didn't really understand. I didn't really know the process of that. but. Uh, they reached out to me, uh, Shohei's interpreter, he reached out to me, he's kind of been helping uh, the manager, he played for the manager in the MPB, so um, they're familiar with each other and, and they kind of reached out and gauged my interest, gauged my eligibility, because um, I'll be the first person that, that hasn't been born there to play on that team, so um, it was a little bit of a process making sure that I am eligible. Once uh, I was deemed eligible, I told them, you know, I'm all in, I want to play really badly, so um, like I said, super thankful that, that they did that, but uh, yeah, when I got that call from them saying that they wanted me, it was, it was a pretty cool moment. How do you approach this camp? Ali and Mo have made it clear there are spots up, up for grabs and uh, a couple positions definitely not penciled in for anybody. How yeah. do you approach this camp? Yeah, same, you know, like I said, you know, same way I've approached every camp is just, you know, with my tail on fire and uh, trying to trying to, you know, compete every single day. Uh, nothing's given in this game and, um, you know, you can never be comfortable or satisfied. So. I'm um, going out there and trying to win every single day, compete every single you know rep. Uh, got guys like Goldie and Nolan. You know they've obviously you know they're kind of the blueprint for success. So uh, seeing them never be comfortable. You know they're cage rats. They're always working. Kind of makes it easy for young guys like myself to just keep working and never be satisfied because you know those guys are kind of the the model of excellence. You're one of the most positive, upbeat guys we see around. Here. <laughs> yeah. Where does that come from? Yeah, I mean I, I you know it's just kind of understanding the position that I'm in, you know, I'm playing baseball for a living, you know, coming out here to Florida, being in nice weather, um, you know, it's just, well, there's no reason really to be upset. You know, I get to hang around some of my best friends in the world, play baseball, that's my, that's my job, you know, so it's, it's a pretty cool opportunity that I get to do. Um, I worked, you know, manual labor in 2020, so, you know, that versus this, I, you know, I take this 10 out of 10 days, so, um, you know, it always puts things into perspective, you know, we're playing a game for a living, so, I, you know, I'm pretty, pretty happy about it. Is there any update on the, the new bar trademark? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you said, you know, we trademarked it uh, in terms of the candy bar. Uh, we're starting to get the ball rolling a little bit. Nothing too official yet. Uh, this offseason was was the, the main focus was, was baseball. There wasn't a lot of other things going on, you know. So, uh, you know, when that time comes, I'll let you guys know. But, uh, but yeah, you know, I'm hoping something will be in the works pretty soon. So it would be a candy bar yeah. and not uh, any kind of energy bar. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I would like it to be a candy bar, yeah. but I think, you know, some other people want it to be a protein bar, and they probably have more say than I do. So, you know, like I said, uh, I, I'm good with whatever. I, I just want it to be kind of a, a fun thing that, you know, hopefully uh, people enjoy that, you know. Maybe maybe it's probably better for the public if it's a little healthier than, than the candy bar, yeah. Well, you can make both, candy bar and healthy Right, exactly. Bar. Left Twix, right Twix patient. type deal. Yeah, exactly, go. exactly. Uh, you mentioned hitting with Nolan Arnado in the offseason. Uh, what kind of pitching, if any, did you have to do to say, okay, oh, yeah. we know you can opt out, but you shouldn't because this is the place you need to be? Yeah, I, I didn't really do much. I mean, you know, I talked to Nolan daily in the offseason, so, you know, I, I didn't really say much. Obviously, he knows where I stand. You know, I want him to be here. Um, I kind of had a good feel that he was going to be here all, you know, the whole time. He loves St. Louis. You know, there's not much to, to not like about it. You know, we got the best fans in baseball, packed the house, loyal fans, good organization. So, um, you know, he loves being there. He loves living there too. So, um, I kind of had a good feel, but you know, at the end of the day, it was up to him. Uh, but yeah, I mean, coming up, him being there the past two years, you know, he's been he's been so impactful on my career and you know my development. So, uh, I was always telling him, you know, that. Uh, that I wanted him here, 
you know, I, I know some of the older guys, you know, they, they, were, they were kind of pitching to him, but um, definitely glad he's here. You know, I know the organization is St. Louis is, and so uh, for him to stay in, you know, is big for us. Two more. Going off that Nolan answer, he seems like a guy that I can't picture him thinking about anything else other than baseball. <laughs> you pretty... seems like he lives and breathes it. You yeah. probably get to see that a little bit closer. Is that just how it is? Yeah, I mean, he, he's intense, man. What you see is what you get. You know, he's kind of got that. He's got that MJ, that Kobe in him where, you know, he's just obsessed with the game. You know, every time I'm over there, you know, he's watching swings, he's doing everything, which I love to do, you know. So when I'm over there, I'm getting better. Every time I'm around him, you know, he's getting me better. Um, like I said, you know, what you see is what you get. He's an obsessed athlete that's, you know, very attention to detail oriented. And so, you know, it's pretty cool to see in person. And uh, he's a great role model for me to have because, you know, like, like, like I said, you know, he's, he's so locked in on baseball all the time. Um, he's got some stuff now with, with his family being a father, so he's got other things. You know, I think that's good for him. But, uh, but yeah, man, he's he, you know he's he's intense, he's serious, and it's great. I love it. Last thing, it's Adam Wainwright's final season. You've now been able to be around him for a little bit. Yeah. Is there any way to even put in even just an anecdote or a story about what he's maybe meant to you personally and to the franchise? Yeah. Uh, first person, actually, I saw in the lobby when I debuted. Uh, it was it was Wayno and he was on the phone talking to his family and he, he hung up the phone. I heard him. He said, "Hey, I, you know, this Lars coming in. He's a rookie, making his debut. Let me call you back." And he he stood there and and shook my hand, took the time out of his day, you know, stopped talking to his family and talked to me a little bit. And for me, that was huge. You know, it's Adam Wainwright. You know, he's he is the Cardinals, and so for him to do that, you know, it kind of like took some of the nerves out of me. You know, because you know if you get you know you shake his hand, look him in the eye, smile a little bit, have a conversation, to ease your nerves. And so that's just kind of who he is. He's always been. You know, he he's the guy that. Everybody kind of rallies around whenever there's a team function or anything. He's there. He's in the middle of it. He's kind of organizing it. And, you know, he's a special player, a special person. So, um, you know, obviously tough to see him go. I've been able to spend, you know, the last two seasons with him. It's, it's been really special and, you know, don't want to take anything for granted with him. How hard is he going to lobby to get an at-bat this year? <laughs> you know, it's a good question. You know, he, he, he can rake a little bit, you know, and I passed him on his career home runs last year, and he was pretty bitter about that. But, uh, but yeah, you know, uh, you know that, that, that's kind of who he is. He's a great personality. I remember when I hit my first one, he was like, man, it took you that long, you know? Only took me one at-bat. Uh, he's a clown. You know, he, he's awesome, and, and, you know, he's got that youthful energy about him, you know, even in his later days. So. You know, he, he's just a great leader, a great person to have in the clubhouse. Obviously going to be missed next year, but, um, you know, for this year, just not going to take anything for granted with him. He's such a special guy.